Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your Friday morning out with us. I'm Jenna Stauffer alongside Tom Oosterhout. Here we are Hello. on Friday morning <laughs> early. How are you guys out there? I'm just getting up myself. <laughs> you're a little, all right. you're yeah. a little sleepy still, aren't you, Tom? Mm, a little groggy idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can understand why you're a little Mr. sleepy. Mr. Sandman got in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you get a little Mr. Sandman? <laughs> okay. Enough ah. about Mr. Sandman. Mm. I can understand why you're tired, though, because you're busy this week. Week. Oh my goodness, there's <laughs> so much is going on, you know, it's just crazy. But my favorite thing was the opening of the Waterfront Playhouse last mm -hmm. night. Drowsy and uh, wasn't it just grand? They did a spectacular I job. I mean, it's a cast of thousands. Mm -hmm. And of course, I, th I think it stars our one and only Bruce Moore. <laughs> At least that's what he told me. Yeah. And uh, we might and, get in trouble. And, uh, and Danny Weathers. And Danny Weathers. And he directed it, too. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. did awesome. I think that's pretty neat that mm -hmm. you can direct it and also mm -hmm. have one of the leading mm -hmm. roles he's in it, He's selling tickets and mm -hmm. he's selling popcorn. And he's, he's doing everything. <laughs> he's doing everything. The lights mm -hmm. moving around the stage. <laughs> Danny does it all, it sounds like, over he does there. Oh, he does it all. <laughs> but job well done because it yeah. was a great show. It's an amazing amazing show mm -hmm. a cast of thousands and they danced and they sang and you know they just really worked it <laughs> they shook it didn't they they did they did some dancing and yeah. singing maybe not a cast of thousands but you know what's a bit for key over, west is a big cast. yeah yeah over 20 mm -hmm. over 30 i guess mm -hmm. maybe so and that w is taking less place less than 100 less than 100 mm -hmm. there we go that's better <laughs> and that's taking place right now at the waterfront playhouse yes and that, you know what it's selling out quick so you better run out and get your tickets because that's one heck of a show. And your big story this week, Tom, was Square One. Square One. Well, some of my favorite people, mm -hmm. uh, Carmelo Vitale, his wife, Carolyn Sullivan, and their uh, friend from Banana Cafe, they opened the new Square One this weekend, mm -hmm. and we were all there, yeah, and we yeah. had a great old time. I had the whole Blonde Mafia there, and <laughs> they were Blonde Mafia-ing. <laughs> uh, well, it was a great event for them mm -hmm. to open it to the public. Mm -hmm. They had an open bar. They had free food. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, I'd say the bar took a hit that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, but you know, I think that's Especially very... with a Blonde Mafia in town. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that that's great that they've taken mm -hmm. over ownership of Square One and they'll kind of continue mm -hmm. to keep it. Yeah, because uh, Patrick had it for 23 years. Mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, Michael Stewart had it for 23 years. And uh, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, actually, a lot of people don't know this. Carmelo and Carolyn were the founders of La Trattoria, and uh, they ran it for 17 years before mm -hmm. they sold it. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and now they have the bottle cap, and they've yes. done a heck of a job with the mm -hmm. bottle cap too. So. And, the, and they, you know, it's funny. They wanted to take a few years off, and that's why the bottle cap. So they just did the bottle cap for fun. But what a success story, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. they really made it into something. And I was proud to have Con Color be a part of that too. For years, Con Color every Friday I would go down and cover their happy hour for their significant cause, and, mm -hmm. it and that became a huge deal. Great. You know, every big group in the county wanted to come mm -hmm. in and do their happy hour, mm -hmm. and uh, we were proud to be part of that. Well, know. I'm sure they'll do great with Square One and everything. Oh, yeah. So. Well, you know, they're going to have a little touch of Vietnamese food, and we haven't mm -hmm. had that in Key West yet, and I think that'll be wonderful. Really? Yeah. And what kind of food would that be? Well, it's a little between Thai and um, or, uh, Oriental, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, East Asian. Um, it, uh, you know, it's just got the oriental vegetables in it and the spices and all that. And uh, when good. I lived in Atlanta back in the 70s, a little Vietnamese family had uh, migrated in and they opened the restaurant and the family ran it. And it was all Japanese, I mean, all Vietnamese and uh, it was just really wonderful. Yeah, we don't have that here. No, so. we don't. That's one of the few cuisines I've never seen on this island. Right. We've, so, hey, you know, we're ready. That's right. We've got everything else, right? Italian, mm -hmm. seafood, Mexican, everything. So, now this is a good a good new addition. And later on in today's show, Tom, you're going to have to fill us in on everything that's going to be taking place this coming week. I know that there are oh, lots, yes. uh, lots going on. Oosterhout is out and about, let me tell you. Oh, <laughs> that, my God. That rhymes, you know, Tom. There's no uh, rest for the cripple, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, my God. You would never know that I'm hobbling around, but I'm getting there. I'm all over the place. You, you are know? all over the place. All right, we're going to take a quick break right now, but there is much more to come. Tom will be back at the end of the show to tell us what's happening. Stay with us.